Welcome back everybody to another installment of the San Dimas Wine Shop and Tasting Room uh, video for the week of Bextoffer Wines. Uh, Bextoffer family has been around since the 70s. Their first vintage was 1975. Tonight we are we have uh, Tuck Bextoffer Wines. Tuck is the son, he's one of the Bextoffers and um, ever since he was a kid he's been working the uh, or the fields up in Napa Valley. But they are responsible for, it, it's a it's a very prominent family that's had a lot of responsibility for the way wine is made and the way it's identified today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. We don't have the first wine here, but I'm assured that it'll be here tonight. It is 100% Sauvignon Blanc, um, melony, grapefruity, and it's got kind of that little bit of slight brulee. Um, I'm doing a salad with that tonight. Uh, next, we have got this is the Mele, uh, and the Mele is a, is a, it's 85% Grenache, 15% Syrah. It comes from mostly Central Coast and from Mendocino. Big fig, cherry, just, just really a nice, I think a little bit chewy, but in a good way, uh, Grenache. Then we go over to the 75. Uh, this is his, his mainstream wine. This is the Cabernet Sauvignon, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. It smells of cassis. It smells of, uh, um, of also some, some dried fig, but it's got those, those kind of like medium plus tannins to it, which I really like, especially if I'm doing a grilled steak. Uh, for this, I'm doing a crostini that will have some bacon in it. Uh, then last but not least, I think this is really the granddaddy. I can't tell you how much I love this wine because... When I, as soon as I tasted it, it just reminds me of so many of the huge, beautiful, um, classic wines that have come out of California, out of Napa Valley specifically. And uh, this is the Mad Hatter. This is their 2014 red blend. It's Cabernet Sauvignon, Cap Franc, Petit Verdot, Syrah, and Malbec. Big dark chocolate, licorice, but also just those layers of oak, of nice sweet oak really sink through this wine. and. Um, I just cannot talk about this wine. Actually, believe it or not, it reminded me of Opus as soon as I, as soon as I smelled it and tasted it. So, um, here's a great value wine that it drinks super, super high end. And for this, we are going to be doing, I can't remember what it is, but, oh, actually we're doing a carving station. So, um, I'll have some, some pork that we'll be doing just right out here, out on the patio. So, I look forward to welcoming you all. Um, we hope to see you tonight. Enjoy the tasting this week, and cheers. Mm -hmm. 